guys, it's me Josh aka Future Filmmaker Dreamer Fraser once again with another ranking video. This time last year, if you saw them, I reviewed all three Matrix movies and the short series The Animatrix. Now I decided to rank each movie from my least favorite one to my favorite one. Which one will be at the bottom, which one will come out on top, and I will be including Stardust reactions. No Rotten Tomatoes score for this one. I'm just going to get straight into it and let's get started with what comes at the bottom of the barrel. At number 4 is The Matrix Revolutions. Now like I said, this is my least favorite one of the trilogy. This doesn't make necessarily make it a bad movie. I know a lot of people, Matrix fans especially, go to this one and say it is the worst one. It destroyed the series. I'll give you some negatives I do have. I feel like the whole open-ended thing with Neo, that was like unnecessary, but I understand what they were trying to do with the Oracle saying that they might see Neo once again, but at the same time, this is the very last movie, and the Wachowskis has came out and said when they were making the last two films in the trilogy, they, were not gonna, they had no plans for another one. Also, Trinity is killed off for no reason again. I felt like you could just let Trinity live and have her go back to tell the story of Neo saving everyone. I don't know how that But there's a lot of entertaining aspects to this movie I enjoy. I enjoyed the action because there's a lot of balls to wall action. Action scene in the club, action scenes in Zion, especially that siege attack. The one problem I do have with that little part of the movie with the siege, it goes on for a little bit too long. But I was enjoying it that much. And also the final battle between Neo and Agent Smith is just balls to the wall. It's awesome. It's, it's like Dragon Ball Z mixed with Superman, especially with them flying up in the air, punching each other, and then making water balls in the air. And especially that song Neo Dameron and the end credit song Navarus. I really like. The soundtrack is really great. I still love the performances of Carrie Ann Moss, Lawrence Fishburne, Keanu Reeves, Monica Bellucci's in here again. She is smoking hot in this red dress that she's in at the beginning of the movie. You don't expect to see her throughout the whole movie. But I will say, I think it's still good. I still think the Wachowskis, they, were, they did pretty good for what they were doing. And... It's not the worst thing I've ever seen. A 36% on Rotten Tomatoes, you gotta be kidding me. At least the audience score is better though. The Matrix Revolutions, unfortunately, is my least favorite of the Matrix trilogy. I got a little confused on the first time, but over the course of multiple viewings, I've grown to appreciate this movie for what it is. It is a decent end to the trilogy. Trinity should have not been killed off again. And there are some things that could have been a little better, but it's an end to a good trilogy. Four, we have The Animatrix, which is this series of nine anime stories that goes into Beyond the Matrix. And each story I find just very awesome, very interesting. You do get some voice acting from Keanu Reeves and Carrie M. Austin in one of the episodes. You got this awesome, extraordinary combination of computer-generated imagery and Japanese anime, and it just looks great for 2003. I love all the stories, Final Flight, The Osiris, Matriculated, Program, Kids Story. But my two favorite ones are The Second Renaissance, Part 1 and Part 2. It's basically explaining the war between man and machine before you get to the movies. And if and does feel... It's Matrix 1.5 before you get to Reloading and Revolutions. And I'd say the voice. I think it's great. I think the style, visual style that each director brings into this is great. And I, I just think the Animatrix is, is pretty awesome. I have nothing more to say about the Animatrix. What can I, else can I say? If you ain't seen it, go watch it. The Animatrix is a cool tie-in to the Matrix series. Nine animated stories from seven different directors with CGI animation and Japanese anime. I really like that. 
my favorite story is the second renaissance part one and part two and i do like all the other stories but second renaissance part one and two are the ones that stand out to me second place is the first matrix now when i first saw this i was confused when they said when i watched this on amc i was confused like what the heck was that but then i watched it again and paid attention when I watched it on AMC again, actually it was TNT. But then when I kept the more I kept watching, I was like, oh, I'm starting to understand what's going on here. And I like it set this first movie sets the whole whole like franchise into motion. Um, I love the introduction of Morpheus. I love the Agent Smith is a great villain. Hugo Evans' performance is a top notch. Cipher Joe Pantoliano is great. I love the the other crew members of the Nebuchadnezzar. I really, I really enjoyed the whole le th lessons that Morpheus is teaching Neo. The late Gloria Foster's performance, may she rest in peace. She was great as the Oracle in the first two Matrix films. Mary Alice takes over for her in the third movie, so that was pretty nice because that was a friend. And I have to say, I was just completely insane and I really thought that the, the, the setup the story was great Keanu Reeves is fantastic actually while he got this part he did break his neck so they did have to f to film some parts until his neck hit but when he started filming his scenes all the action is great the Wachowskis put a lot of love into this and you can tell they're, they're influenced by a lot of different things with this with Ghost in the Shell and all that stuff all that all that stuff but I enjoyed the philosophical aspects I enjoyed the action aspects I enjoyed the story and The Matrix is just a freaking masterpiece of a movie The Matrix is still a freaking awesome movie from the 1990s awesome movie Great story. Keanu Reeves, Lawrence Fitzgerald, Carrie Ann Moss are awesome. Hugo even is a great villain. The Wachowskis really knocked it out of the park with this movie. And it was awesome. No complaints whatsoever. Love everything about it. Can get confusing on the first time, but after that, you can understand it more. In second place, I mean first place, not everyone is going to agree with me on this, but... This is the most watched one for me, and that is Matrix Reloaded. This was the first sequel, and I know a lot of people were disappointed with it. I wasn't disappointed with the film. I, was, I thought the dog was very... I saw it on HBO, and I'm like, what's the problem? Why do people not like it? It does have a 72% of Rise of so it's a very split thing. People like it, people hate it. And it's not... It does, there are some confusing parts, but... I was able to follow, go along with it, follow what was going on here. Like I said in my review of the film, it may not be the best one plot, story-wise, plot-wise, but when it comes to the action, I think the action is a lot better here. The action in the first one was great, but they emptied it up. The Wachowskis, you got this awesome freeway chase beautiful really shot and you got Neo fighting Smith's a, a bunch of agents at the beginning you got Neo flying do his Superman thing at the beginning that was pretty awesome but my favorite action scene besides the pre white chase always had to be the burly brawl I know a lot of people make fun of the burly brawl because of some CGI and the pinball sound but it was 2003 and the CGI was not may not be the best looking but and I will give you the whole thing with the architect. That is kind of feel like explanatory, but it also helped fill in the gap with some stuff. I do love the relationship with Neo and Trinity here. I like that they gave Morpheus some more of a story with Commander Niall B, played by J.M. Pickett Smith, and Commander Locke, Harry Lennox, who is basically a jerk. I do love the two twins. I like the Merovingian, Lambert Wilson. He was pretty funny. Monica Bellucci is Persephone in her scene where she kisses Keanu Reeves. I was like, her, she was great. She is great. I just, I don't see what the problem is with Matrix Reloaded. It may not be the masterpiece as the first Matrix is, but it's a pretty darn entertaining movie. 
and I can enjoy it and I have fun with it. The Matrix Reloaded is my favorite of the trilogy. The story may not be as good as the first, but there is a good story here. I do like the returning cast. I love the freeway chase. The Burly Bra may have a lot of CGI, but I'm okay with it. I do like Monica Bellucci as Persephone in her little screen time. And I love the, the cliffhanger ending. So, yeah, not a bad sequel. That was my ranking of The Matrix movies from the worst to the best. Tell me what your ranking is down below. We're not going to all agree on it. Let's have a friendly, awesome conversation in the comments. Because, because, hey, if you like The Matrix, it's cool. I know Rambo for life. He's a big fan of The Matrix movies, especially the sequels. I can, I can, I can definitely see why. Some people may not be a fan of Revolutions, but I'm a fan of the entire series. And, hey, I... I, I like The Matrix. It's fun. It's fun and entertaining films. Great philosophical stuff. Awesome stuff. And it's one of my influences on my little movie series I've been writing since my own since 2011. Or 2010, actually. So let me know what you guys think of the ranking down below. Do you like this? Do you not like it? I'll see you guys in the next video. And as always, this is Future Filmmaker 3940. Sign out. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, twi twi Twitter, Instagram, and also follow me on the Stardust app, MovieGeek1998. Also, be sure to, to, to join my official channel group, official Facebook group for my channel, and also be sure, sure to go like my Facebook fan page for, for this channel. To, to get notifications on what I'm doing or if I do Women Across Wednesday. I do Women Across Wednesday and stuff on there too. So basically, yeah. This is Future Filmmaker 3940 sign out and you guys keep it cool.